10 15 at night the kids are in bed and i'm wearing a hat because kaya rubbed lotion in my hair earlier hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are here to do a meet my husband and a marriage advice video apparently we know all the good tricks to you know relationships yeah <laughs> Before we hop into today's video, if you guys are new here, welcome. I've had a lot of new subscribers here lately. My name is Morgan. I do a lot of mom cell content here on my channel, day in the life vlogs. Just like basically things that are happening in my life as a mom of two, I share with you guys. We have a daughter, Kaya, who is three and a half. And we have a an almost six week old little boy named Riker. Okay, so today's video is in collaboration with the sweetest Taylor Terrell. Her and her husband, Garrett, have their own channel here on YouTube. I'll have it linked down below for you guys and I'll have like a little clip here showing you guys what some of their videos look like. She also makes a bunch of day in the life videos, except her and her husband are newlyweds. So down below you will find a link to their marriage video. So they're giving like their perspective as newlyweds and we're giving our perspective as like five years in. I hope you guys enjoy the collaboration. If you go over to Taylor's video, tell her that I sent you and say hello. They are just starting like their own coffee trailer and you guys, their Instagram pictures of it are to die for. You need to go and follow her on Instagram and follow her stories. She's so cute, she's so inspirational. Thank you so much Taylor for asking me to collab with you on this video. This has been so much fun. If you guys have seen any of my day in the life vlogs or any of my other vlogs that I have here on the channel, you'll notice that my husband is often missing in them and that is because he works all the time. All the time. Did she just burp? My fingers hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start out with how we met. Well, it was a sunny day, guys. Let's just start out with that. It was beautiful. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day. Not a cloud in the sky. Okay, let's go with the real version. So in high school, <laughs> I had my two best friends and I, it was all through high school, it was us three. One of my best friends like started to hang out with Mike more and I was always taken in high school. I was like, I dated the same guy like on and off until our senior year, the summer before our senior year. And so he was like, he was Mikey, he was Mikey B. He was like one of our best guy friends. How did we meet as lovers? Well, guys, we met as lovers. We never met as lovers. That, that wasn't even a thing that didn't happen. Guys, it was love at first sight, okay? At least it was for me. I, when I saw you and laid eyes on you, it was love at first sight. Okay, okay, can we, you can we back up? You are one dynamite gal. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you to homecoming and one of my friends, he ended up asking uh, Morgan instead, and I was all, had this whole plan, and I think it was Stacy or Mackenzie that at, told me that they said, Mikey, I feel so bad you have this whole thing set up, but Steven had already asked her, and, she's, and she wants to go with you, but she feels bad if she says no to Steven. I can't remember what I did. I put something in your locker. You wrote it on like my little board. Yeah, you had like a little dry erase board, so I uh, snuck in there and uh, drew it on there. And guess what I had to do? I had to go back in there and erase it. <laughs> I had to erase that after the fact. That made me so sad when you told me that. Yeah. So anyways, we liked each other for like a long time. Even though we were friends, like we still like kind of have this backstory. Like we liked each other for a long time. It just like never like w worked. Like the timing like was never like good. And then finally, was it, I think it was the August before. So it was the summer before our senior year. Mm -hmm. And so 2000, so circa 2009, <laughs> like so long ago. And we were really, so again, like really close friends, like saw each other all the time. And then out of nowhere, like I just had gotten like through a really terrible breakup where like that same night Mike had texted me and was like, hey, you want to go to a movie sometime? Yeah. So yeah. Pretty lame, guys. I, I like, asked to a movie. Well, <laughs> and, I, and I didn't know because I was like, why is 
Mikey B yeah. asking me to a movie. So I was like, asked my best friends, I was like, Stacey McKenzie, has Mike ever asked you, like, go to a movie, like, whatever, like, one on one before? And they're like, no, no. I'm like, that's weird. And then how did it happen after that? We didn't actually go to a movie. No, we didn't go to a movie. We ended up just uh, going over to your place. Went to my parents' house in the basement. Not just him and I, though. It was like a bunch of us. We had a movie night. Mm-hmm. And you made a move. And you put your arm, your hand on my leg, on my knee. Yeah, butterflies. And that's how it started. Butterflies, guys. So that's how it started. Way back when. By Christmas, first promise ring. And it literally, ever since then, like, I just knew, like, for me, like, you told me first that you were falling in love with me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Went to college together. In fact, like, his, so his dorms were right across the street from my dorms. And you maybe slept in your dorm room, like, what, twice? Yeah, my poor dorm mate. Yeah. He'd sleep, he would literally either sleep on a twin-size bed with me, or he'd sleep on the floor. Yeah, isn't that cute? Like, we always just wanted to be together. I mean, we had our rough patches, but that was... Oh, yeah. And we were just kids, you know? Yeah, um, and that's the story of us. And here we are, ten years later, and we have been married for five years, and we've got two beautiful kids. Five years later. Let's, uh, let's talk about our top five marriage tips. Now that we're five years into marriage, and we've been together for ten years, what are the top five things that you would tell, like a brand new couple? Never go to bed angry. Mike and I, like, we get these, like, spat arguments. Like, and that's okay. Like, that's totally normal. It's part of a healthy relationship just to disagree on things, but... You are your own person. Well, exactly. You're going to disagree. Exactly. You're going to disagree. And that's okay. Like, that's not... It's not a make or a break in a relationship. We'll get in an argument and five minutes later we're over it. Okay, so number one tip for you is never go to bed angry. Never go to bed angry, guys. It's not good for your mental health. You wake up in the morning, you are still going to be angry. You have been given one direction and that is forward. forward. You can't go backwards. Okay, so my, like one of my biggest tips and I tell my sister this all the time, is to marry your best friend. Marry someone who you're not only in love with, not only like infatuated with whatever. Marry somebody that makes you laugh till you pee your pants. Legit has happened to me several times, especially while pregnant. And like <laughs> somebody who you can joke with, somebody you can argue with, but then get over that argument really quickly. Tip number one, guys, don't go to bed angry. And tip number two, marry somebody who is your best friend. I want to be best friend too. That sounds bad. Oh, you can be your best friend too. Yeah. Tip number three, what would you say, like, tip number three, like, having a successful marriage? Here we are five years later. Take it away. I'm not putting that in the video. That's super inappropriate. <laughs> I would say tip number three is to date your spouse. I think that's a good one. Like even after you have kids, after the kids, after all the chaos, after the work, remember that you still need to date your spouse. Bring her flowers, bring him like surprises, treats, like show up at their work with like lunch or, um, or schedule like a really cute date night or go out for drinks. I think what you're trying to say is don't forget about the little things mm -hmm. that you used to do. Right. When, when you, you were first, dating. When you were dating. Little things. Yeah. Don't forget about those. They're, they're, they're important. They're easy to forget when which, you get busy. Which reminds me. Mike used to write me, like, draw me these, like, love letters. And, like, we would go back and forth. Like, I have a whole, we have a whole, like, keepsake box. And, uh, going back. If you guys want to see a video of us reading like these like nine, ten year old notes, in fact, I still have the notes from when you proposed to me. If you guys want to see that video, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. That would be a really fun like story time, <laughs> like reading our love notes to each other. We'll be drinking glasses of wine, reading these love notes to each other. Leave it down below if you guys want to see that video. Okay, so tip number four, super cliche, but like communication. Communication is a 
it's I mean it's key in everything in your life right in order to lead a successful life I feel like you just need to have like good communication don't ever be afraid to tell your spouse how you feel yeah just communicating making sure like like if he's upset and I can tell he's upset or if I'm upset I mean I'm a woman I always make it known when I'm upset I guess but like I'll tell you I'll be like hey like I'm really upset so like for example like this time like postpartum like I've had a lot of postpartum anxiety and I've just like been really like open about that with him and I've like just told him I'm like hey I'm having like a really hard time some days are, are worse than others and like I just like I'm really open about that and it makes me it makes me feel better it makes me feel like I have this like safety net at home and that you'll make me feel better you know like if I need a hug you're like you're there for a hug Oh, yeah, you know? of course. Yeah, of course. I, love you. So, I would say tip number five would be build a foundation. Yep. What do you so, think? just like having a mutual agreement how you want the rest of your life to look like. Do you have certain dreams and goals in mind that you guys both share? You know that that for us has been a really big part of our marriage is has been like working towards these dreams these goals that we have both wanted for us and our family and we hang out a lot like a lot i spent a lot of time with her yeah we really like each other again marry your best friend you guys you'll be the best guys you're the best oh you're God. the best kai these comments coming from her are so great <laughs> If we could like tell somebody who's like freshly married or like has not gotten married yet, like the biggest just quick synopsis of advice is just marry somebody that you adore, marry your best friend and share dreams and goals with them because you're going to be working with each other the rest of your life. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Again, I do have a husband. He exists. He's right here. If you haven't yet, be sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see that um, story time of us like opening up our love letters to each other back and forth from high school they're great they're gold guys. or a glass of wine or a glass of wine you. red wine yummy maybe, yummy maybe a beer for me <laughs> and i will see you on sunday for a day in the life okay bye you guys which one today We had to eat the loudest thing on the planet before we record a video. Why? And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world